Hi again, it's Jai here from beyondwiz.com.au. In this video, we're going to go through some more advanced EPG uh, settings or electronic program guide settings. Uh, if you're looking at this video first, I'd, I'd suggest you go back and watch the uh, basic settings of your EPG first of all, um, and they're available in our forum in the EPG video section. Um, so what we're going to do now is have a look at the advanced settings. First thing we're going to do is we've got a different uh, GUI mode for you can set it as expert or beginner or novice and so forth. So what we're going to do is change that to expert first so we can get all the settings out and have a look at them all in detail. So if you go into the menu, um, let me just start that again, so press the menu button on your remote, then go across to setup and press OK. Then we want to go across to GUI setup and press OK. This up here, maybe depending on your firmware, um, some of the earlier mode firmwares it was set to intermediate, you just need to press the right arrow to change that to expert. And then you need to press the green button to save those settings. Now we can exit out of the menu, right out. And um, now we can go into the EPG by pressing the EPG button. So to get up your advanced settings on the EPG, I'll show, in, show you in a moment, but just have a look at the EPG, how it's set up now. So we've got the, um, the previous screen up here of the channel that we're currently on. We've got the uh, synopsis of the program that's on. Um, it's the program that's actually highlighted. So if we actually move to another program, it'll change that synopsis without changing the TV um, channel. And then we've got here, we've got eight rows of of data. So we have a pick on here which is the channel logo and we have the channel name here. Um, so we've got duration here of uh, three hours by the looks of it. So we've got a three hour stretch there and as you can see there so yeah eight rows, three hour stretch, all that sort of stuff. So we're going to go in and play with that a little bit now so you can see the difference in, in that. So to get into the advanced setup we just hit the menu button on your T3 remote and it comes up with all these options. I'm going to skip over a few of these options, but feel free to go into the menu and have a play with them and see what they do. Um, all else fails, just you know, just go back and, and play with it until it, it looks like something you want to keep. Um, you could always go back and, and reset your factory settings if you like. And before you reset your factory settings, we've done another video on, on backing up your settings and restoring, which you should also look at. Um, so in here we're going to go down and have a look first of all. Let's have a look at picture and graphics. So if we turn that off, picture and graphic was that small picture box in the top screen that showed the current channel on. So we're going to turn that off. And to, down the bottom here it says press OK to save the settings. And we'll press OK and you'll see that we'll go back into that screen and you can see that it's lost the picture box. Um, and the information. So if you just like a stock standard EPG, I mean that's probably what you're after right there. Um, and we can decrease the uh, the amount of things on the screen and the font size and all that sort of stuff as we go. So we're going to go back into the menu now. Um, I myself like that uh, picture and graphic, so I'm going to switch that back on. And you'll see as easy as that, it just uh, pops back in uh, there the way it should. Okay. So let's go down and, and um, you can, there I talked before about the PICON which is the channel logo and the service name. You can actually change that so it just displays the service name if you want or it just displays the PICON or it displays both of them. Okay, here's some button settings that you can set within your EPG. So you see the info button, short and info button long, which is basically the short is you just tap the info button, the long you hold it down for about two seconds and it'll do something different. So you can actually modify those to do different sorts of things. So I recommend having a play with that. Uh, channel 1 at start means that, that if you press the EPG button it'll always be highlighted on channel 1, which is the, the bottom of your guide or the top of the guide, depending on which way you look at it. Um, usually if you're in um, your EPG you'll come up highlighting the channel you're on, which I think is a much better way to operate it. But again, that's to taste. And that's a good thing about the T3. Um, you know, we don't tell you how to do it, we give you options to try and go around and, and make it better for your own experience. Um, so if we go down here, we'll just skip these. So these are some more important ones. So this is the number of rows. I showed you before that we had eight rows in the EPG. Now, for instance, if you're visually impaired or you don't, don't like sitting in front of the TV with your glasses or so forth and you want to increase the size of the font, it's probably a good idea to decrease the number of rows in the EPG. So we'll go a bit extreme here and we'll just have four rows um, inside that. 
And then the event font size is the information and pretty much the program names inside that uh, EPG. So here we're going to, uh, inc you can actually go all the way down to minus eight, I think, which is tiny and I don't know uh, why we'd want that, I guess, with some of the big, you know, 200 inch screens, there might be a call for that. But um, but for, for this, I mean, if you're going to uh, want to increase the size of your font, we'll just make it quite big at seven, just so we can actually see the difference. You can increase the service font size. I think that's pretty much right, because it's already big, and the width of the service too, but I think it all fits nicely um, where it is. Um, then if we go down, um, here, time scale is the, the, the length of the, uh, the scale of the time, obviously. Um, so before I said it was about three hours in width. So if you're going to sort of uh, decrease, uh, increase the, the font size and the less, you might want to decrease that um, a little bit also. So you can actually just bring down that to, to two hours, say. All right, so we're going to save that and we're going to see what, what, what it changed and how it looks now. So as you can see, it's it's a lot bigger now. So it's it's a, it's a lot more, inf you know, it's bigger information you can see on the screen. Um, and you know, as I say, if you're visually impaired or you're just um, don't want to sit there with your your glasses on and watch telly, you can probably browse through that guide uh, pretty easy. And there's scope actually to go a little bit bigger in the menu. I didn't put everything at the biggest they could be. Um, so yeah, so. That's pretty much it, and as I did before, in case I didn't t tell you, you just press the green button once you've changed those modes to save it, and that'll save it there. So there's just a quick look at the, um, the, the advanced menu for your EPG. Feel free to click on that button, go in and have a play. You can't kill anyone, you can't, you know, destroy the box. Um, at, you know, if all else fails, you can always go back to factory and and um, and get that all back. But if you go back in and sort of change things around, you'll see bits and pieces decreasing and so forth. So so there you go. That's a, a look into the advanced electronic program guide settings.